I had to pause the camera. I'm like out of breath. If you see what I just did, I'm going to show you why I'm out of breath very soon. Hey, Bola Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to have a life update. What's going on in my reselling business, changes I'm making, things to come, and let's get started. So I have talked about doing an ephemera show. This bag is massive and I have no idea where the bag came from. What is happening there? It is full of bags upon bags upon bags. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. So for a normal reseller, you source your items and you list them. And that used to be me. That was all I did. I was a full-time reseller, list, list, list. eBay was my game and I did nothing else. Now I do YouTube. I try to do a video a day. I am starting my items on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark when I can. And I am now on Whatnot. So I've got a lot going on. So I'm not your typical reseller. Things have definitely changed for me. And we're going to talk about some of those changes in this video. And as we talk about those changes, I'm also going to be showing you my workstation. I'm going to be showing you my money pile. I'm going to be showing you different things to come and all of that good stuff. Bags upon bags of crafters items. I'm not sure if I'm going to have like a whatnot show that is specifically for just bags of crafters items. I might make them smaller just so they don't weigh as much to keep the cost of shipping down. I may sell the whole bag. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but if you are interested in crafters, repurposing, uh, junk jewelry, whatever you want to call it, um, I've got it. And I'm going to be bringing it to whatnot. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I like to sometimes do crafters lots at the end of my shows because then everybody, oh my goodness, this thing probably weighs 200 pounds. Okay, maybe not 200, but it's really, really heavy. Uh, crafters lots are great towards the end to be coming to whatnot. Okay, first things first, go down there into that description and click on that link to join whatnot and you're going to get $15 of free money to shop. That is my referral link and go and bookmark my upcoming whatnot shows. All right, so I have this bucket here and it is full of natural stones. I'm planning to bring some of this on Sunday night. I'm going to mix it in with some other really great vintage to now items. So I hope to see you Sunday night at 9 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've also got signed jewelry. It's going to be great. But just wanted to share with you this awesome rack that I got. Might do a pop-up uh, tonight, Saturday. May do some more untangling. I also have a mystery jewelry box that I got from Donatella. Maybe I'll do that. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do if I do a pop-up tonight. Thinking a little bit later, maybe 10, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard tonight. If so going to be a little bit all over the place in this video, showing you different things, different areas that I'm working on, different plans for the channel. Um, right now, I am putting out a video a day. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I missed a video the other day. I have been um, what's the word? Overwhelmed. <laughs> and I didn't get a video and I was like, I can move stuff around and I can make it happen, but I would have been completely stressed out about it. So I did not release a video and I feel like mixed feelings about that. I kind of feel like I let you guys down because I've been doing a video a day for a long, long time, but let's face it. Okay, so this is my station. Uh, my backdrop is my jeans. And yes, I've had people say sell those jeans, but I love it as a backdrop. And here's my table. My husband picked me up this amazing table at an estate sale, and I just absolutely adore the look of it. Uh, the legs are super, super cool, which they're kind of hard to see right now, but they only have like the triangle type shape or I don't a V a V shape on one side on each side it's really cool but this is from my vintage show uh vintage this and that that I never got to I've got jewelry here that I have parted out into I think these are earrings and necklaces and this box is full of stuff here's more of my 
vintage this and that that I never got to. Remember, I showed these in my video as I was bringing them, and then I forgot to bring them. Ugh, oh, my goodness. And I've got these little, uh, I don't know how these will do, if anybody's interested in these, but I've got a whole bunch of those. I've got this new old stock music bingo that's really cool. That bag is full of pantyhose. That's more crafter's jewelry, more stuff I haven't got to. I mean, it's just on and on and on. These did not sell, so I don't know if I'm going to bring them back or donate them. Maybe I'll put them in the buy it now, but they're really, really cute. Uh, I forget what they're called, what they're made of, but I don't know if there's a market for those or not. And let's see. Oh, I'm going to have an ephemera show. So right now I'm organizing, so everything's kind of a disaster. This was in a bag of jewelry that I undid last night. And so this didn't sell the other night. We were trying to figure out what it is. I was thinking it was a letter opener. Somebody else thought it was... Oh, I can't remember what they said right now. Oh, a knife holder. It kind of reminds you of Tupperware, but it's not marked, so I don't think it is. If anybody knows what this thing is, let me know in the comments. It also kind of looks like a tape dispenser, but it doesn't. Does that make sense? So, I don't know. I'd love to sell it, and if nobody wants to buy it, I may just list it myself and see what I can get for it. But I have to identify it first, and Google Lens is not helping me out. There are only so many hours in the day. So right now, I am trying to find my balance. Um, I've been doing whatnot, and I absolutely love it because I get to go live. And I enjoy going live. I get to show jewelry. I get to show uh, vintage stuff. I get to show toys. Whatever I want to show, I get to show it, and I get to sell it. And what is my passion? My passion is I'm a reseller. I like to sell things. Now, one thing to know about whatnot, if you're thinking about doing it, is are you going to sell your items for as much as you would sell them for on eBay? Maybe, maybe not. A lot of times things sell for what you start the item at and you're going to take a loss. So if you're thinking about selling on whatnot, know that you're going to have to grow your business. Just like anything else when you start on eBay, you're going to have to list a bunch of items and grow your store. On Poshmark, you're going to have to share your closet. You're going to have to gain a following. That's going to help you get more people. If you want to be on multiple platforms, you are going to have to cross post. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross post. There's a demo video down below. So that saves me time. And if you're a reseller, you probably, you know, are looking to save time. So definitely check that out. I show you exactly how to use it down below. If you watch that and you would like to use it, you can... Um, use my discount code. It is a referral code, Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that's going to get you 30% off your first month of list perfectly. I had to pause the camera. I'm like out of breath. If you see what I just did, I'm going to show you why I'm out of breath very soon. So stay tuned for that. So what were we talking about? Yes, managing our time, trying to get as much done in a day that we possibly can, and utilizing our time in the best way that we can. So that's what I'm doing. I'm rebalancing, trying to figure it out. So I have talked about doing an ephemera show. I have all of these amazing Valentines. Oh my goodness. And postcards. Now these are just a small pile. There are a bunch in my money pile. But this, these are really, really old. So ephemera is coming. I just don't know when. When I find the ephemera, I'm pulling it out. Now, here's another thing that I have been putting off and putting off and putting off selling. I feel like they're probably going to be a big money bolo if I list them, but I'm seriously considering bringing them to whatnot because they are just incredible. So you guys let me know if you would be interested in seeing something like this over on whatnot. I've just been putting it off and putting it off. Now, this one is just so, so old. It looks like it has like paper mache in there. I have no idea what this is made of, but look at it. Oh my goodness. It's incredible. I've had these things sitting in my basement for probably maybe three years. And you know, I don't know what to call them. So I don't know how to list them. This one is amazing. Is it a motorcycle helmet? It says Homer, but it's falling apart like literally it's I would call it dry rot so 
a collector could probably fix this up, refinish it. I have no idea. But Romer, that's what it says on the inside. But you can see it's, it's crunchy. I would be selling this as is, whether I sell it on whatnot or I sell it on eBay. But it's just sitting in my money pile. And I need to move stuff. And I have told you guys all along that I want to bring things to whatnot that you guys are going to, whoa, that didn't go well, um, that you guys want. And hold on, let me fix this. Things that I would list on eBay myself. So um, that's what I'm doing. This is John Deere, and it's obviously not been in this tote very well. Um, I probably need to be more careful, but these are just a ton of old hats. Did that say taxidermy? Huh, that's interesting. Uh, just ta hats upon hats upon hats. I don't know what's in here. I did pick these up at a garage sale. They were selling all of the hats. I cannot remember what I paid for it. I don't think it was in a video and they've been sitting in my basement. So Maybe I'll add some of these into a this and that. Maybe I'll have just a hat show. What do you guys think? I want your feedback down in the comments. What do you guys want to see? So that's hats. All right, so I still got to tell you guys why I'm out of breath. And I'm looking at it. And I'm going to show you. It's down there on the floor. We're going to talk about it. But first, let's look at more of my money pile. Uh, let's see. These are all Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. I've got cats meow up there. This is all horses and um, little toys like that. So toy shows, oh my goodness, I got you covered. I've got toys upon toys upon toys. Those are Boyd's Bears uh, figurines in the boxes. There's just so much stuff. Oh, I have a bag of, I think it's in this tote. Does anybody like magic tricks? Uh, nope, it's not this bag. I think it's the bag underneath or the tote underneath. It is full of magic tricks, vintage magic tricks, like some serious business. I'm just super cool stuff. And I never had time to research it. So I could have a magic show. Oh my goodness. Those are all little people. You guys know what I'm talking about? I'm definitely going to have a toy show. So probably do small lots something like that. I know that some of these have vintage toys in them. I just don't know which tote is which. I have crafters items, tons and tons more jewelry. So just giving you guys an idea of my money pile. So tell me down in the comments, what do you want to see on whatnot? So that is just some of the stuff. You guys tell me what you want to see on whatnot. You let me know because I'm bringing it. I am bringing it. And I want to talk to you more about eBay. Um, I'm trying to list. I am trying to list, but a video a day is woo. And trying to do whatnot shows is like woo. So eBay has been a little slow. Uh, some days I have really great days. Some days I only sell a couple items because I'm not listing consistently. So if you are selling on eBay, one thing that I can tell you that you definitely should be doing and you will see an uptick in sales, in my opinion, based on what I have experienced if you list daily, if you list consistently, that is going to bring more sales on eBay. So list, list, list. I actually drafted some stuff yesterday, some things that I knew that I could draft really quickly, and I've got them in my drafts. I've already done photos, and I just need to finalize those drafts, and I'll probably have about 15 or 20 new items up on eBay. They are things that I wanted to bring to whatnot, but I was like, I have to put stuff on eBay also. And a lot of my eBay items are from my Goodwill Bins videos because I like to pop up screenshots of things that I get at the Goodwill Bins. Would anybody be interested in me doing a Goodwill Bins video and then bringing all of those items from the Goodwill Bins to whatnot? Does that interest anyone? Let me know down in the comments. Again, just trying to rebalance, figure things out, figure out what is the best way to manage my time with what I'm doing in my life currently. So we're back over here at my messy workstation and I'm trying to, I just bought this, ouch, just tripped over a cord, at a garage sale yesterday and I'm super, super excited about it and absolutely love, love, love it. So I'm organizing my jewelry in these and my husband's like, do you think that's going to be too heavy? And I'm like, Ooh, 
Ooh, it is a little heavy, but I think it can handle it. So kind of dividing it out into how I'm going to list. Here is that uh, untangling show that I did. Some of this stuff is left over from that. This is all vintage crafters items. And some of them are absolutely incredible, but they are missing pieces. So they are great for repurposing. Now, these are some of my natural stones. This bucket has got tons of natural stones in it. I'm going to bring some of this on Sunday, Sunday night, 9 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look at this. It's beautiful. What have I been up to? Um, I've been buying jewelry and the reason I'm buying jewelry is for whatnot. I absolutely love selling on whatnot and I struggle with jewelry on eBay and Poshmark and Mercari because I struggle with keywords and I have a Poshmark video coming up where I have sold a ton of jewelry, but my words are like necklace or gold tone necklace or just very generic titles. And that's why I put my jewelry a lot of times on Poshmark and not eBay because I don't know how to describe it. I don't know what it is. So for me, bringing the items to whatnot, I can showcase it to you, show you what the item looks like, and I don't have to worry about the description or the title or messing something up. I can just show it to you guys. A lot of you buy and sell jewelry, so you know what the things are. That is why I love selling jewelry on whatnot, but I'm gonna have all kinds of whatnot shows. So let's walk over here. I'm gonna show you some of the jewelry that I've had for a long, long time that I'm eventually gonna get to, and then I'm gonna show you why I'm out of breath. So if you guys have watched my reseller vlog, you're familiar with the fact that this tote is full of jewelry. This ginormous tote is full of jewelry. And this is some jewelry jars that I still have left. Um, this tote also has jewelry in it. So I have tons of jewelry that I haven't even started to unravel. And I'm still buying more jewelry because, well, I'm crazy. I'm just crazy. I love buying jewelry and I love selling jewelry. So we already talked about why I'm bringing the jewelry to whatnot. So let's go over and look at why I'm out of breath. I've said that like six times. Well, I'm finally going to show you. So you saw me drag this down the steps and I actually added more to it. These are all crafters things. Now, this is on top of all of the stuff you just saw in those totes that I didn't even really show you. This is all organized and ready to go. There's some stuff on top. Some of this is coming on Sunday night at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and some of it will be coming on Tuesday, and some of it will be coming tonight. So make sure you're bookmarking and following all of those shows. Also have stuff, most of this is vintage jewelry, and these boxes here, that's something I bought from Donatella. I think that has jewelry in it, and these are little bags of things. I'm not even sure what's in this. So I still am organizing. I just carried all this down the steps and that is why I'm out of breath. So what I have been doing is I've been sorting and these are two gallon bags. So this is a ton of jewelry. This says sell each separate. So I know that these items are items that I want to showcase separately because they're either vintage or really, really nice pieces. These are sell separate or sell in small lots, just depending on the piece. Um, some of it's more costume. So I'm like, maybe I'll put two pieces together, three pieces together or four small lots, stuff like that. That's kind of what we've got going on here. These three bags are just bracelets. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. These three bags, all bracelets. Those will probably be small lots, costume, vintage, all mixed together. Single earrings. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. There are some matching pairs, but I felt like they were more crafters. So this is probably more for somebody who crafts and can make maybe some really cool Christmas trees or I don't know what you guys make with those things, but super fun earrings. So probably part those out into small lots. These are brooches and clip-ons and watches and different, uh, these are wearable earrings. These are little crafters, I'm, I'm sorry, actually, yeah, that's crafters earrings. So I have the bags kind of organized. Now this right here, I don't even know what this is. This is what my husband gave me. My husband likes to buy stuff also and go through it. 
and this is just stuff that he's like, here you go, you can have it, because he's looking for specific things, and I brought some stuff the other night to whatnot. There was a Christian Dior necklace in there. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is incredible. So who knows what we're going to find in the lot from my husband, because he doesn't really look for costume jewelry. This looks like it's a bunch of brooches and pendants and stuff like that. And that looks like rings. This looks like bracelets. I think these are all organized necklaces. So I shouldn't have to untangle this. So maybe one night I'll do, what did my husband bring me? Or what did my husband give me? And maybe we'll do that tonight. That could be a fun show. You guys let me know what you want me to bring tonight down in the comments. I've got that box from Donatella. I've got just an untangling thing that we could do. I've got this from my husband. So lots and lots of options. So looking forward to seeing your comments down below. All right, so what's to come on the channel? Hmm, am I still gonna do a video a day? I am gonna try my hardest. I really, really am, but uh, I don't know. When I do a whatnot show, I'm usually on between three and five hours, and then it usually takes me between three and five hours the next day to ship. Whatnot is amazing. It's a great platform, but it is a lot of time. So when I'm spending more time doing shows, and I'd like to do two or three shows a week, so make sure you guys are checking and bookmarking. But um, my link tree, I recently changed that. So there is a new link down below. It used to be bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers. It matched my Instagram, but I changed my Instagram to all one word bolo buddies lowercase, which changed my link tree. If you guys want notifications when I'm going to be live on whatnot, go down to that link tree, click on it, and you can subscribe to my link tree. And I can push out a notification to you when I'm going live. So definitely consider that if you want to get a separate notification. A, whatnot's going to send you a notification if you follow me. But a lot of times, if there's like five or six people that you follow going live at the same time, you may not get that notification. If you don't have your phone on you, you may not get that notification. So the link tree, I think you can choose how it comes to you either by email or maybe text message. I'm not even sure. So I have, I think 140 some of you have subscribed to my link tree. That's something newer that I'm doing. Let me know in the comments how you get your notifications because um, I know you guys that are subscribed over there are following me on whatnot. You're probably watching on a regular basis. And I just want to tell you all, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. And I'm just really thankful for the amount of time you spend watching me and hanging out with me. So many of you have come over to my whatnot and supported me there. I just want to say thank you. So that is the life update, my life update for my reselling business anyway. Things are changing and I'm adding in more stuff that whatnot basically, which takes more time, which could impact my other things that I'm doing because again, there's only 24 hours in a day <laughs> and some days I'm getting five hours of sleep. So I do have to take care of myself as well. And that's one thing that, you know, sleep is important. Let me know how many hours of sleep you get every night. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I do have a seller's link down below. If you want to sell on whatnot, you can join with that link. It'll say that Bolo Buddies referred you. And from what I understand, you're more likely to get accepted if you use a referral link. Um, I know people have told me that they got accepted in five minutes, the next day, the same day. And I think I had one person say they didn't get accepted, but that was months and months ago. I think they're starting to accept more people now. So I would get your foot in the door, even if you're not ready to sell right now, because it's a growing platform. So definitely think about that. And if you haven't joined Whatnot, I do have a buyer's link, talked about this earlier, and you will get $15 to shop if you use my referral link down below. And go bookmark my shows after you join. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching.